Welcome back golfers. Today I'm going through my back nine at Pontefracton District Golf Club. If you haven't seen the front nine, I'll leave a link to it in the description below and the cards above. Just as a reminder, I shot 38 on the front nine, so two over. That's some of the best golf I've ever played. I'm looking to try and put in some steady golf on the back nine to finish on my best ever score possibly. Let's see how I get on. So the 10th then is a longish par four. And it's not a good start to the back nine. It's the first time the driver's misbehaved itself and it's gone straight into the trees, not very far either. So I'm hitting four iron back down the fairway, just trying to get as close as I can to the green. That went relatively well, leaving me a pitching wedge chip onto the green, which I just pull a little bit left. But it does leave me putting with a shot at par. Not the best put there. But it shouldn't be too much drama to clean up for bogey. So a bit of a scramble on that hole, but all in all, not too disappointed with it. Hole 11 then is a long par 5, 485 yards. It's probably slightly downhill, but it does get quite narrow. Uh, so it's a good drive to start with. And I'm thinking I could potentially get close here with a good 3 wood. And then I smash it into the trees again. It does glance off the trees somewhat though and end up a bit further down the fairway than I thought it would. So I'm just sort of chipping out of this longer grass, punching an 8 iron. That was absolutely magic. And it goes really well actually, gets me on the green. Birdie put from a long way away. And that's not terrible. That is though. <laughs> you just need to hit them putts. I'm really disappointed with that one as you can tell. And unfortunately, it's just not going to fall in. So I've got to take a bogey there. That would have been a very good par. 12th then. 400 yard par 4. This one's fairly straight. And driver leaking left again a little bit. So I'm hitting out the rough. Using the rescue here. And I just top this one. Goes about 30 yards. So trying the 7 iron. I've got a better line this time. I can actually see the green. My foot slips a little bit. So I do lose a bit of distance. But just off the front edge of the green I think so I'm able to put and that's a good bit short of the pin the bogey put then and that's a much better lag put than the previous meaning that I can tidy this up for a double bogey On to the 13th then, this is a longish par 5, 512 yards. Looking to try and put this in the fairway, you can see I've sliced it a little bit. And it's not worked out terribly, the ball's not lost, but it hasn't given me a line around the corner. So I'm just having to punch this down to sort of the apex of the, the corner, just so I've got a line into the green. I'm 182 yards away, so I'm just hitting 5 iron as close as I can. This doesn't go terribly, it sort of hits the green and bounces off to the right, leaving me chipping back onto the green. And this isn't a terrible effort. Leaves me a putt at par, which comes very close and means I can easily tidy up for a bogey. Fourteenth is a 157 yard par 3. I'm hitting 7 iron here and I do get very excited at this. I won't lie. That is all over it. I'm literally walking to the green. This might be an optical illusion. But it looks really close. Excuse all the jiggle. 
Ah, oh, it's uh, it looked on the precipice of the hole from where I was stood, but as you get a bit closer, it's probably a few feet. Still, one of the best three iron, uh, the best par three tee shots I've ever hit. That the line from the tee box really did make the ball look very close to the hole, but not as close as I thought it was when I got there. And that's not a bad effort at a birdie either. And one of the least stressful pars I'll ever make. Hole 15 is a shortish par 4, 295 yards. So just trying to keep this driver in play. Which I managed to do, I don't hit it too far. Leaving me a 50 wedge in. I push this a little and it gets a terrible bounce and unfortunately I end up in the bunker on the right hand side of the green. Chipping onto the green then from the bunker, just try and splash this out, just catch a little bit too much of the ball and end up just off the back of the green. Chipping back towards the pin then. Genuinely thought that I had a chance of dropping, that would have been a fantastic scrambled par. But after being in the bunker, I will not turn my nose up at a bogey. The 16th then is a tricky hole this because you've got a narrow opening onto the fairway between those trees there and I've, unfortunately I've just sliced this a little bit and I've ended up sort of through the right hand trees. So I'm punching this back through a gap, back into the fairway, just taking my medicine there. This hasn't happened too many times today so I'm not too upset. This leaves me a 56 degree wedge in. Again, I've just pulled this a little bit left, just off the green. It's about the right distance, just not the greatest line. Looking to chip this close. It's rolled further than I thought it was going to this one. Put for bogey then. And I've just not hit it. Frustrated with that one, so I felt like I could make the putt, so I thought I'd give it another go. I don't actually know if you should do this, you know, because this just winds me up. Because of course, you make it every time the next time you try it. Hole 17 then is a 175 yard par 3 downhill. I've just caught this all wrong and sort of chunked it down the fairway. So I'm just short of the green chipping on. Chipped past the pin here. And I actually think the putting on the last green had knocked my concentration or something because this is a terrible putt. I haven't done that all day. This one isn't fantastic either. And I am finally able to get the ball in the hole for a double bogey. The 18th then is a 334 yard par 4. This one's fairly straight. The slice is creeping back in a little bit now with a D stick, but that's in play. Leaving me 129 into the green. Just hitting 99 here. Again, not the best line, just a little bit left. Uh, so I'm just off the green, chipping back on. Reoccurring theme on this round. Catch that a little bit too heavy and it rolls a good bit past the hole, unfortunately. Long putt for par. Not the greatest lag putt, but should be fine for the bogey. Just. So the back nine not on the same level as the front and probably just about qualifying for the steady golf I was looking for. 85 is definitely one of my best scores I've ever shot. It's strange looking back through the round because there seems to be so many easy shots lost, but I think it's easy to kid yourself that these shots are easily recovered. Us mid to high handicappers by nature make a lot of mistakes, they're going to happen. There's no point in getting hung up on thinking you can shoot the perfect round, if we could we'd be pro. So I hope you enjoyed that golfers, let me know as always what you think in the comments down below. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'll see you in the next one.